Hey everyone, it's Dying Demon, and welcome to Minecraft MC Eternal. Now, I've been playing this a while, and by the way, sorry for no videos or streams for a while. I have not had the time. Heck, I'm doing this with only two hours between before I have to go to work, so I have to make this a quick video, but I thought I should give y'all something. This whole coronavirus lockdown thing has got people freaked out. I work in grocery, and yet for some reason, no one seems to follow any of the rules whenever it comes to grocery store. They just go nuts. Anywho. Um, so today I was wanted to go over how I handle mystical agriculture. Now, I know that you can just use cloches. I know there's other ways to do it, but I find it boring to constantly use cloches. So I thought I'd just give you a basic idea of how I do it. Um, by the way, say hello to my base. Uh, I went heavy into mine colonies. I... I'd love it. It's fun. I have been busy. In fact, I think I have, uh, let me show you. I do have creative flight. So let's see. Uh, this is just a lucky block gone wrong. Um, but yeah, with mine colonies, I just had a lot of fun. I've just been building up my city. I've been doing better and better with it. It's not a hundred percent complete. I still got buildings unemployed and I still got to make a few more buildings. And though I will say this, is awesome which this is a miner and what my might it's a miner does is it just goes around and forms mines and mines max upgraded if you look on my je on my uh journey maps you can see how they've been mining and it just goes all the way down to bedrock like dang let's see but in this is just my um infinity setup so i can just make uh what's it called uh i know what they're called i think you do too i just can't remember what they're called right now let's see let me out of course my farms and i hate those guys over there so let's avoid them i'm too hurt to do anything anyway i've been fighting them non-stop today since i came in to do this video they just keep spawning. That's what happens when you spawn in a savanna. But, um, yeah, ignore the mess. I live in clutter at all times. So today what we're going to do is I do mystical agriculture with Steve's carts. So it's not exactly the most efficient setup, I admit, but... It is one of my favorites. It's I get so tired of just the same old every time. Close, 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 automation, efficiency. I was like, nah. And I was watching some of... Uh, why did I put those in there? I was watching some of... Uh, What's his name? Uh, Chosen Architects videos. And he, did, he once again went with close. I was like, that's just didn't seem fun so I wanted to do something completely different so I did Steve's carts excuse me real quick I'm still building the necessary parts needed that's my cargo manager I think I need more glass so sand ooh gravel Yep, make me some sand, please, while it does that. So let me go over the basics with you. Whenever you're building anything with Steve carts, you have to make all the parts. So for this build, in order to make carts that do what you want them to do, you're going to need a few items. Starting off, we're definitely going to need a cargo manager and a liquids manager, which is what I need the uh, um, which is what I need the sand for. I need to make some glass. Um. So those are pretty, uh, well, it's nighttime. I don't like being out at night because I get constantly hit by raiders. My village is too big now with over 30, 40 citizens, and they just constantly attack. Uh, while I'm here, do I have any food from Pam's left? Um, not any cooked food, go figure. But, anywho... The first thing we're going to want to do is make a cargo manager 
and a liquids manager. Now what these do is these push cargo into and out of carts from Steve's carts and refill the liquid tank, which is the water we need to keep our fields wet. If, if we don't use that, we have to place down source blocks everywhere. And it's just inefficient. Like, less inefficient. You know what I mean. And you, not you. Um, yeah, you again. Make me some glass, please. Alright, while well, it's cooking us some glass. Ah, no, give me back my water seeds. You're here for demonstration purposes. So, we've got the cargo manager, which is pretty easy to make. So the cargo manager, as you just saw, it's just a bunch of iron panes, huge iron panes and large dynamic pane. A large dynamic pane is just regular. So you're going to need a bunch of these iron uh, plates or panes, which you get from chest panes, which, and I don't mean by your heart, but that's simple to make. You just need a bunch of... Uh, chest paint which is just planks and wood put an iron ingot in it. it it's easy once you get automation set up or at least a way to just quickly click and go and you'll just assemble them into their different versions so like this one will take four iron panes so you'll need four of those you'll need this will take nine you'll need nine of these we I mean, need four of these as well and then this one takes four of those which pretty easy to make um, and how's the glass going? First 63 are done. That'll be good for now. Let's get some, uh... Alright, so, and your liquids manager... ...requires advanced tanks. And to make advanced tanks, you'll need a tank valve, which is just iron bars around an... Uh, Iron ingots around iron bars, and then you'll need huge tank planes, which tank, which take regular tank planes, which is glass, panes, and regular glass. Makes 32 a go, but you'd be surprised how quickly these run out. So let's just make all these. That's not enough, but you'll need four advance of these, so let's get you. And you need... 8 times 4, which, if I'm not mistaken, is 32. My math might be wrong. Oh, look at that. There was enough. Okay. I lied. There you go. Four advanced tanks. And then you put that in there with that, and boom. You got yourself a liquid manager. So these are important for managing that. I need to get me a GPS because I'm using a uh, another system to handle all that. Um, that'll be for the liquids, the water, so I don't have to run a line out to it. I've got quite a few already. Um, sorry. I thought I was ready for this video. Apparently I wasn't. So, anytime you have to use anything with Steve Carts, you need to build the cart. Um, I don't have a, uh... I don't have it fully set up except like lava sources or anything. I'm just using coal for the time being. So so what you're going to need to do is make sure you have a cart builder. Um, this is important. Now this might look crazy, but it's pretty easy. So first up, you'll need to build a hull. Your standard hull is all you're going to need for this. It's not difficult to make. It's just one um, mine cart and two iron wheels wheels so let's see we'll just go to this click it in I don't have it so it's like it's just a mine cart uh, two iron wheels which is just one thing of iron surrounded by wood or sticks put that in click it through standard hull um, from there you're going to need you're gonna need your different modules so you're gonna need a, a basic farmer which I already have extras because I wanted to make sure I had enough to expand upon. But let's see, a basic farmer is just three diamonds, iron, gold, and a simple PCB. And pin simple PCBs are easy. They're just redstone, iron, and gold. Um, you're going to need a hydrator, which, once again, is pretty easy. Just an empty bottle, two iron ingots, and a fence post. Well, a fence. Um... 
You're going to need, and I decided compact solar. If you want to do something else, you can. But let's be honest, these coal ones are super inefficient. Like they burn through their coal in no time flat. Whether it be tiny coal, regular coal, or advanced coal, they just burn through it. I think there's a way to do lava, like a thermal engine, but I just didn't get into it. I went straight to compact solar as it's something you had to do for a quest. Now, compact solar is not exactly expensive, but it's not cheap. So you need advanced PCBs, which are two simple, three iron, and four redstone. You'll need that twice, so double all this. Um, you'll need two pistons, easy enough. That's just wood, cobblestone, and iron and redstone. Iron, redstone. But the solar panels are where it gets a bit different. So you'll need to make... You'll need two glowstone dust, a redstone dust, and iron ingots for each one of those. You'll need four, you'll need eight of these total, plus two simple PCBs, which make you what you need to get going. I've already got it made to save time and resources. And finally, you're going to need storage and a tank. The tank will hold your water for your hydrator, and the internal storage will hold your actual harvest. So, a tank, once again, requires the glass. I've already got an extra one. Due to the way I'm building mine, you're going to need a top tank because... Okay, so your module hull, your hulls have a front, a left, a right, a top, an internal. You have to pay attention to those. So, my basic farmer will... It will basically... Like it says, at the, I'm pointing at the screen, you can't say it, see it. But in the greenish blue text, it says, we'll occupy the front side. So there you go. Now you can put nothing else on the front. This will, uh, won't occupy any sides but require a tank. So there you go. You don't have to worry about any sides for this one. The compact solar en engine takes your right and left side as the solar panels pull out. So you can't put anything on the right or left. Your tank occupies the top, which is why I went with the top tank. So now all you have left is internal. Ah, no, come back here. Which is why I went with internal storage. It won't occupy any sides. Oh, duplicates are allowed. I didn't know that. Um, but I uh, there you go. That will also hold your harvest. You need to make sure that if you're going to follow this build, these are the items you're going to need. So first things first, we'll come over here. We'll put some coal in the engine and you drop your standard hull. When you do, as you notice, all of these unlock, and that's important. We're now going to just click in these. So this will go for your storage. This will go for your tool. This is an attachment. Your engine, of course, is solar. And finally, your tank. So the cart now has everything necessary to run all the parts. And then it says whole complexity 200, complexity cap is fixed, uh, it's 50. Total cost is 121, so it's less than 200. Total time is 28 minutes to build, so we're going to hit assemble. It locks it down, and this starts progressing forward. This also goes down, which is why you just leave the extra coal here. If it gets too far, it fills it back up. Um, for the time being, let's head on out. Oh, it's about to be nighttime again. I'm... I'm for the sake of this video and speed, I'm not going to wait on times, and I don't want to have to deal deal with, um, what's the, uh, raiders? Where's my baker? I forgot I built this yesterday, so I keep trying to run into it. Alright, so let's head on out. Did I remember to turn off this? So I have to partition these off. It kills off a lot of the raiders for me, except for pirates. Yeah, I have it turned off. Okay. So, here are my fields. So the whole system is completely automated through Steve's carts. My, I need to put y'all on a, oh my filters are full, that's right. Well then, I'll deal with you later. So, as you can see we have all of this, which is like dark steel, fertilizer. I've done Upgrades with a with this so that it holds a grand total of like Why isn't it showing me how much you hold? Well, it's time to get that fixed. Hold on 
All right, I'm back. It turns out I turned off Wyla. What am I looking at? I got that fixed now. Um, with these upgraded, they hold 1,024 stacks, which is highly needed. Like, I have 9 stacks, 183, 254 on the coal, uh, 319 on the wood. I have 32 on nature. Just 32. Just regular, thir oh, those seeds. I have 45 fertilized essence, 159 dark steel. And of here, I have an auto-crafting supremium for me. So... Let me give you a basic rundown of what happens. So in your basic field, as you noticed, I have greenhouse glass over. I recommend putting that in last as it does this thing right here where it causes um, grass to grow and flowers, which can get in the way of your harvester. Um, you only need one seed to start. That's all you need because they will ev they have a chance to copy themselves. Whenever the harvest, whenever they're being harvested, which means that it will place it down, and that's really useful for like, let's say you have all this inferium, and you want to make an inferium tier four like these. You only need to make one inferium tier four or five, give it to your uh, harvester, and as it goes, the seed will clone itself over time. It's, I would recommend making four or five to get yourself started. Then you have a higher chance of them copying themselves. But you get the point. So. I have it set up where it is 4 by 10. And what it does is, this allows the insides to get harvested and the outside to get harvested. Um, I then also have my fluid manager, and my liquid manager, and my cargo manager placed next to these advanced detector rails. Now these are important. First things first, when you place down these cargo managers... And this liquid manager, they cannot be right next to each other. Your cart only interacts with one at a time. I think there's a way to make that better, but I haven't delved into it fully. And this is the simplest method. So what I do is I put two detector rails on the bottom, a liquid manager on one of the inside corners, either left or right, and then on the opposite one of that, I put the cargo manager. Now, as you've noticed, these managers have colors, and the color is important. So when I right click it, when you go inside, as complicated as it looks, we're going to take a look-see. So each one of these dictates something different. This is the color of the side. This is what happens whenever a cart reaches it. So like if I were to click this, whenever it hits blue, it would turn immediately around and go the other direction. We're going to ignore that for now. I'll show you later. I'm actually waiting on this to get up to the cargo manager and the liquid manager. Liquid manager works about the same, but I have liquid being pumped into this side. So when it hits the detector rail, it's coming. Ah, it was still full on water. So instead it goes here, and as you can see, it's unloading all of its cargo over to here. And then this one has hit this and it's now loading it out into its inventory, which is getting loaded into this cargo manager from all the other farms, which we can actually right-click it and see it do it. Oh. Darn raiders, leaving their crap everywhere. So, and then that's using an ender item conduit to pump it into a controller for storage drawers, which is then auto-sorting it into these. So, the reason why this is important, is the colored size, is because that is represents one of the colors here. So this side is yellow. If you've noticed, I've changed the arrow. You can just click the arrow to change it. Whenever it does like this, it says it's going from the yellow side into storage. And then the blue, the other three are pumping out. So when this one reaches, there's nothing in here right now, so it isn't doing it, but it pumps it out. And it does it every time it hits a detector rail. I have it set so that whenever it reaches this one, it hits the red side, deposits everything it has, turns around, and heads back this way. It then goes all the way around here and then starts going down this field, which is my nature seeds. Um, in order to make this grow faster, I use greenhouse glass. It's not expensive, but it's not easy either. Um, really, all you need is quartz glass and saplings and lapis to make this really work because you'll need to make the, the crystals from lapis, which 
and, or, and then you have to empower them, which requires Prismarine that you could take quartz and put it in an atomic reconstructor to make uh, Prismarine and then use that Prismarine to empower your palace or police, however you pronounce it. And then you'll use that to make greenhouse glass. But for the time being, we're going to ignore that. This is how I've been getting all my blocks of Galena and stuff out of my storage system. I've just been uh, using it to make walkways so that this doesn't happen. So let's give you a basic look at what's going on. So we need to make sure there's a gap between everything. I like there to be gaps for this. And raiders come in through the corners of my colony, which is right over here. They'll spawn right here. They'll come up, around, come through, then go through my kill box right there. They also hit the corner over there, the corner over there, and the corner over here. And I have kill boxes on every side to handle them. Let's see. Which, by the way, you have to use iron spikes and a fan because uh, Mob Grinder doesn't work on them, which is weird. So first things first, let's go ahead and just get the basic track set up. So like I said, we know that we need to skip one. So skip this, skip this. If I'm not mistaken. It should be one, two, three, and four. Yep. And then we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then just link them up. All right, then right here, I'm going to put the cargo manager. Not the cargo manager, the detector rails. We need three detector rails. And the reason for being it is, as you can see here, we're going to connect this to go by. And then I'm going to put the cargo manager right here. So I want to put the next detector rail right there. Alrighty, uh, yellow, I want to go into it, and with this, you want it to turn around. Let's see, it's simple as that. Just click this to make it go in. Click this to make sure that when this card here hits it, it turns around instead of flying off the rails uh, at nighttime. Let me switch it to daytime. I said I don't need a pirate invasion right now because I will not survive. The pirates are the only one that I have a hard time dealing with because they have spawners on their ship. So I have to go to their ship destroy their spawners and then I have to hope my kill box kills them all or they will wipe out my village um, about a day ago I watched my entire village outside of my three builders get wiped out just because pirates I was AFK for a moment to go uh, cook dinner and came back and everything was destroyed um and yes, I do have creative flight. I'm sorry. I'm using it. Um, and then since I have this here on the inside part, we're going to put a liquids manager. And we're going to click you with GPS. Shift right click. Let's go put this inside real quick. This is mostly for expediency just so we can get things going. I need to build another one soon. I'm running out of, uh, of spots. And once again, I know this ends, This probably hurts everyone who loves to keep things ordered and clear and clean. That's not me. I love, I love my messes. Speaking of, how goes my cart? It's still ticking along. God, you've eaten up a lot of coal. So I got 16 minutes. Okay, for efficiency's sake, just for this video. Let's do one of these. It has a coal farmer. I mean, it uses coal, but... And it uses a lot of coal. But this is just for, you know, showing off for a moment. When the other one's done, I'll replace it. So, now that we have the basic setup, so 
First things first, we need to take a look at our liquid manager. So as you can see, the water is going into the red one, which is over here. To fix this, you'll right click this and change the red Just keep clicking it until it turns blue. And then you can, if you want, you can leave that side blue too, but I'm just going to change it to red. Now, um, the tank is technically being stored on the blue side. So, whenever it hits it, it's pulling water from the storage into it. Okay, so, we have the basics set up. Now for setting up uh, the cart. So, the carts are pretty simple. Once they're built... Just slap it down, open it up. Did I really put my water seat away? Hold on. I also have a samurai, a simnerite, however you pronounce it, seed from Amy. So if I uh, didn't have that, I can just use this. She gave me that one. It's from the Between Lands, but. I've never been. I went the wrong direction. Whee! I still love the look of this village in the distance. Like, it has grown into a damn city. Okay, so. Let's, let's drop this in our farmer. So now, we need... I have a fertilizer on this one. That's a waste of energy and time. You don't need a fertilizer. Um, especially if you're using... Because none of the fertilizers work on these anyway. And you're just better off using greenhouse blocks. So we'll just give it some fuel. As you can see, it burns through its fuel something fierce. And it'll just start going. Now, heads up. These are going to dry out because he hasn't reached the liquid manager yet. Now, as you can see, it just goes around. It farms everything up. See what I mean by drying out? Which is why you need the hydrator. So it should reach this. Now, as you can see, it's pulling water. And as you notice, the side tanks are actually filling up. And if you look on the inside, you can actually see it fill. Now, as it goes down... It's hydrating the farmland as it goes, so it doesn't just immediately disappear. And to make it last longer, as more and more seeds are going down, uh, the ground will not turn out of, uh, will not go away from farmland so long as a seed is sitting on it. So once you have, once it makes enough seeds from that, it'll be fine. And as you can see, it's already out of fuel. This is a really inefficient one. That's why I recommend solar. So long as there's light, it's good. But yeah, from there, you just need to put down these, which is greenhouse glass. But you know what? While I'm at it, I might as well show you how to do that real quick. This is turning into a full-blown episode. Um, I didn't mean for it to. Sorry, but to be a little quick one. But yeah, so basically, like with these over here, it'll just go around. Once you get greenhouse glass, it'll tick up. It'll increase the speed at which these grow. You don't need greenhouse glass where the uh, managers are, so you can just skip it. And they just go. Like, it grows really quickly, and you just get a lot of essence really quickly. Speaking of one over here. Um, another thing that I saw Chosen doing was using the builder. And I understand why he does, but this is a far easier to build passive machine called the Vertical Digger. You can switch it to uh, mining only ores, which as you can see it just did build three phantom boosters to expand its huge range and then as it digs it only pulls up ores and it's very energy efficient too so there you go i'm just gonna let it keep doing his thing i i'm not trying to say what he did was wrong there are many ways to play and this is just my way of doing it i thought i'd show off a different way to play let's see <laughs> One of my people grew up once a job. Okay, um, so making greenhouse glass is not the hardest, but it's not easy either. So first up, we're gonna need enchanted, I mean empowered palace crystals. So I only have three left. So let's. You're better off doing these in blocks. So I'm gonna do this in a block. 
So take some lapis. It's just you. I'll show you why in a moment. Um, take this lapis block. Throw it over here. Okay, I now have a palace block. I'm just going to feed that into this hopper. It's my automated on empowering. And so the reason why we're doing blocks, because if you look at this, empowered palace crystal. So it takes three prismarine and a cyan, a cyan dye of any type. However, here's the thing. A regular empowered palace crystal takes the same thing. So you might as well just make it a block and go easy on your resources. Now, I don't have any more prismarine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take nether quartz. One, two, three. And we're just going to toss that onto our atomic reconstructor. Hi, bu Hi, Bug. They come off these little crystals I got whenever I lived in the, uh, um, the nightmare realm. Thank you. Prismarine shards. So one on you. By the way, that's how you automate this. You just put hoppers on top to feed it in and one hopper underneath to... Uh, yeah. I got to dig up the floor to get to that hopper. I really should tie that directly into my computer system, but... Um, there we go. We have these. And then finally, we just need cyan dye. Which is just, you know, cactus green and lapis. Done. Put one of you away for next time. And then we just slap you into here. Puts it down. We'll empower that for me. This might take a while. It takes the bigger the amount of energy it takes, the longer it takes to empower. Um, so since I already have a few, let's go to greenhouse blocks. I already have 26, and they're pretty easy to make. So as you can see, it's any sapling and four things of glass. Make two greenhouse glasses, which I don't have any saplings, but I can just... You know what, for the sake of showing y'all... Ah, it's done. And yes, I did go with the drill... Um, I did have, I'm working on tinkers, like, uh, if you look here, I have a vibranium pickaxe, but I haven't gotten any further than that with it. I don't carry it around with me unless I have to. I can put this to an energy source and have it wirelessly charged through my flux network, and it's unlimited durability, so, yeah. So, we'll just take this palace crystal, drop it in, there you go, nine palace crystals. Let's get rid of you, get rid of you. I don't need any more rails. Let me get rid of the ladder. Do I still have my time in a bottle? I do not. I don't know what happened to that one. It might have got sucked into my uh, storage over here. You done? No, you're out of fuel as well. These things are so fuel inefficient. There's a way to pump magma into them. I mean, lava into them, but... I wonder if this thing can use coal blocks. I never did check that. No, you will not. You'll put it in, but you won't run with it. That's ridiculous. There. So got five. No, it's screw it. Left me with seven minutes, but this gets done stupidly fast. Thank you. Alright. And the reason why I'm doing this is I don't want to put greenhouse glass down until I know this thing has farmed out all of this. I just smack it a few times. It won't destroy it, but it will break it. Alright, let's put you down. And then we gotta wait for it to boot up. There we go. Then I'll right click you. You have to open it at least once or it doesn't start. I don't know why it does that. Let's wait for it to get some water. But like I said, with this way, you don't have to monitor the carts. They just go, which is all I want. So you'll connect and you'll fill up the top tank, which takes a heck of a lot more water than the side tanks do. But I have unlimited, so that works. I need an unlimited, I need a source of unlimited lava is what I need. 
I have unlimited milk and I have unlimited water. If it could run off of milk, I'd use milk. There we go. Let's give it a chance to get all the way around. Because the first time around it takes so long that sometimes the ground starts drying up before it gets to it. And that then eats into your time to uh, get things built. Okay, so that should be good enough. So. Let's just... Now, I know you don't need a block here, but I just need something to start building with. Go ahead and get y'all built. Yes, I hear you crows. You're loud and obnoxious. Let's see. And then we're going to move you over here just so that one starts growing. And don't... Oh. <laughs> um, don't worry about breaking greenhouse glass. You recover it. It doesn't just shatter and gone. It was my worry the first time I built it. And I actually made a... Uh, whoops. Stomp the ground. I actually made a silk touch pickaxe to break this with because I was afraid. There we go. Now, another cool thing about greenhouse glass is it speeds up the tick rate on the ground. So, which is why it actually works on mystical agriculture stuff. So, easiest way to grow some of this is to take a time in a bottle, click it, and wait. It goes faster if you can up it all the way, but I don't have enough time in my bottle to go all the way. See what I mean? And there you go. It's done. It'll harvest it. It eats the whole thing. Puts it in its inventory, and then it replants it, which it replants it randomly. It'll take the essence, pump it into that, and it'll get picked up by this thing. Speaking of, I need to take my previous one and tell it to let it come on through. All right, where is that cart, by the way? Ah, it's coming back now. So what it'll do is it'll take the new stuff, pump it into here, which will then spit it out into one of these other storage drawers, which then I need to lock so that it stays that way. But yeah, that is how I handle mystical agriculture. I know it's not the most efficient, but to me it looks dang awesome to just have these fields full of flowers and they're being handled by carts. There are a lot of mystical agriculture flowers, so this field is going to get pretty big. I am playing on a server with others, so I don't keep it chunk loaded. And this is how many seeds there are. the uh, Everything from lapis to the end to diamonds to aquamarine and skeletons. And I have enough to make almost all of it. And you get a diamond seed from completing the uh, quest. Like I said, you only need one seed for every field. Every field that you see here, I only had one seed, and they were cloned as my cart harvested them. And just to know, they will harvest your tiers. So this is a tier four. I started with tier one, made a tier four later, and I got enough um, essence and planted them down. And I can probably get it all the way up to tier six, which is insanium. But yeah, that is my mystical agriculture. Uh, I hope it's informative. If you need help getting Steve Carts up and running, I'll be just leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do to help you. Uh, I understand some people want efficiency and they need to do efficiency. There is not much choice there, and I get that. I completely understand. But if you just want something that looks cool or have a field of just flowers that carts are constantly harvesting, make it like, like an automation system, this, this is the way to do it. But yeah. Uh, thank you all for coming, and thank you for checking it out. Um, like, subscribe, whatever you feel like doing. Uh, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments, and I'll see you all later. Bye. Hold on. Wrong button. Bye. With my piston head.